Okay. I am Kalanidhi Sundiya. Today we would like to speak about the managerial competencies in digitalized era. Okay. Okay. Next slide, please. Okay. When we talk about this uh, topic, first we uh, define the managerial competencies, then we define the digital competencies. Then what are the difference of the managerial competencies with different competencies? Okay. Then we talk about the managerial competence is important, digital competence is important also. Uh, then uh, manager, uh, then we talk about the management competence in digitalized era. Uh, in this topic, uh, we want to say we, we we want to share about the five components of the managerial competences in digitalized era, and we explain it brief, briefly. Mm, after that, we finally conclusion. Okay, okay. Next slide, please. Okay, first we talk about the manage management competencies. Okay, management competencies are the skills, motive, knowledge, and attitudes necessary to successfully manage people. Okay, uh, this, uh, this definition is uh, explained that uh, it's a dynamic environment. Okay, dynamic environment means time to time to time change the environment. Uh, in environment, organizations, organization firms also change their behavior uh, as as the dynamic environment changes okay because there are so many competent uh, competencies in the environment so when we uh, challenge their competencies every management organization want skill motive knowledge and attitudes and other skill also okay and every organization should have a competencies framework that's uh, less uh, consist uh, consists of set of uh, components like how uh, they are skill motive uh, their future goal something about that okay okay then we talk about the <clears throat> then the managerial competencies have three components okay general managerial competencies specific managerial com management competencies and key management competencies okay okay first we talk about the general management competencies that mainly focus of the quality of work performance in every in management position the specific management competencies focus on the standard performance of the particular management position. Mm, then management competencies is focused on the uh, enhance of the employee's performance. Okay, some key management competencies mainly focus on the employee's perform performance. And the so management competencies so also we want to focus on the cultural variance among the con uh, cultural variance okay because the culture is uh, different from country country place to place and every uh, every people have uh, flow their uh, culture so when managers are take that advantage and focus on their culture and do their management process okay that's a main main thing and management competence is important that's uh, improve interpersonal communication motivating others and problem solving developing something okay okay then we talk about that digital competency digital competencies involve the confident critical use of information technology for work leisure and communication okay digital competencies is mainly focus of the digitalized area okay digital area means the set of knowledge strategies skill that help to individual function the digital world to solving digital problem with the digital support it's a mainly focus on the digital okay digital mean computerized system example it literacy digital literacy media literacy information literacy something okay <clears throat> in that digital competency there are main two approach approaches they have okay first one is technology changes second one is that to recognize a specific knowledge and skill competencies okay 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 and also in digital competen competency there are three domains also they have okay first one is the knowledge theoretical and principle related to te technology second one is attitudes towards a static use or critical understanding creative something mm. the third one is knowledge theories uh, theories and princ principle related to the technology okay mm. okay when we talk about the digital competencies in i think in past three years we affected for covid 19 covid 19 situation has the government implements so many restrictions also then the firms and organizations have changed their uh, behavior like in work from home then every managers every workers have should learn about how to uh, work from home how how may, which software we use to do that their work in their home also so that time 
so my digital competence is uh, rice okay in digital competence they have three skills first one is product skill communicative skill and informative skills uh, when we talk about the product productive skill uh, example we can say the ability to use the variety of application that mean in organization firms uh, how to do that uh, accountancy is accountants and how to use static information get how to analyze data so there are different different software so apps so how to use that how to get that apps that's a product skill second one is communicative skill communicative skill mean uh, methodology statistics and application to score communicative task third one is informative skill informative skills uh, uh for how to get uh, researchers how to get information about in ba based on internet and how to get researchers for something about it okay okay thank you uh, next slide okay then we talk about the management competencies in digitalized era there are five components we select here um, first one is analytical thinking ability computational thinking virtual collaboration flexible adaptability the ability to learn independently okay okay thank you okay thank you Sintujan. it's about a crucial skill or a competence in this digital era analytical thinking ability when it comes to marketing when it comes to finance sales hrm it's about data driven decision making not basic data or simplified data i mean big amount of data to be analyzed and decisions has to be taken through websites systems digital platforms they collect data so analytical thinking ability is very important in this era also the validity and the reliability of data are very important the managers need to sharpen their skills to ensure the reliability to get the accurate decisions so uh, moving forward <coughs> It's about computational thinking that managers have to have basic ground knowledge of technology they work with in this digital era and their workspace. As an example, nowadays they use artificial intelligence, bots, machine learning kind of things at different technologies to analyze big data and to, their, and to do their day-to-day -day, uh, workload. So this also includes speed and accuracy adaptability of technology also the managers need to balance and collaborate all the possible technologies together to do their work in fast and accurate manner uh, they can use systems with artificial intelligence use bots use data analyzing bots uh, and all other technologies uh, to do their work better uh, and achieve their targets uh, so that's all about it so moving forward <clears throat> it's about virtual collaboration virtual collaboration has become normal everywhere due to covid 19 and ongoing crisis virtual collaboration can be done by various platforms like zoom microsoft and all whether you are dealing with or not with a crisis of covid 19 the organization should move to virtual collaborations to be modernized and uh, so these organizations can have very skilled team members Regardless of, regardless of their geographical location. And also fast collaboration of teams can make things happen faster. Uh, and I should mention about the cost benefits of uh, virtual collaboration. So no transportation, no rent, uh, and uh, companies can save uh, money. And also teaming up with uh, a team <coughs> can always achieve more things than individuals and can build up quality skills of team and ensure high quality engagement. So uh, thank you very much. Over to you, Susantika. Thank you. Then I am going to explain about flexible adaptability. Flexible adaptability is the most important for grateful leaders. Leaders should meet and communication to a lot of people. So every people and employees will every time. So if leaders will question, they can manage everything. They should talk with their open-minded and day-to-day -day life change and system. So they should accept every change, then should face many problems. Next topic is okay. Next topic is the ability to learn independently. 
the next quality for best leader i will explain the ability to learn independently that quality is the most important skill for the current digital work environment so surely leaders should have more knowledge and everywhere however they should take but decision bravely and fastly and independently when creating new process and new technology they face many from problems finally leaders must grow day to day with their new knowledge in the digital world because changes every day so leaders should change growth the next final topic is conclusion part Digital technology have become an essential requirement in corporate governments. Corporates, the use of this technology requires change in management process and organization managers work. And finally, thank you everyone.